Alrighty guys, so update for the Supra. I got some packages in from induction. Let's see what's in here. Damn, they put these uh let's see, let's get this. Alright, let's see what we got in this thing right here. Lost it first. Oh, precision. We'll see what's in here. Oh, the wastegate. Yeah, that wastegate's right there. It's a pretty big wastegate. Should be um, be able to do all the boosts. And then right here, we got the turbo, which is a 62-62 ball bearing. Open this up so you guys can see this. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. Information for fittings. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Let me turn this down really quick. Alright, so today I am working on the Supra. And what I'm actually doing is putting a big top mount on it. I went out, tuned it today, um, got the stock turbo pretty much down. Um, already got the downpipe out, already got the turbo. Now, as you can see, there's enough room for whatever I need to do in here. So, I just need to figure out um, what I want to do um, in terms of if I need a proper fitting for this. Right here, um, this return line, I got to figure that out, but it shouldn't be too, too hard to figure out. All these other lines, um, I'm pretty sure I have them all figured out. I got the kit from... Uh, uh, what is full race um, to install this so I'm pretty sure I'll need to cut this line and then use this fitting for the return line all right guys so so far I have the return line with the fitting right there I have the oil feed right here if this thing will there we go oil feed line um, and then I still have I still did that one the, the coolant line and there is there should be one more coolant line that I need to uh, figure out which is this one right here but it shouldn't be a problem alrighty guys I am wearing a different shirt. It is day number two of this install. Um, I had to wait. I was trying to get everything done yesterday, but it was just impossible. I had to place overnight sh order for this three inch to 2.5 reducer on a 62-62. And then I had to wait for a couple other parts to come in today, but I'm over here running the wastegate lines right now i got kind of stuck for a while yesterday um for this block crankcase breather um and then this other one I might just leave them dangling until i get a catch can for it proper setup uh since this doesn't have an intake anymore this turbo so i'm gonna try to figure this all out and see what I need to do, but everything else is going pretty good, guys. I already have the downpipe in. Um, I do I might have to take this downpipe back out though, just to uh, tighten this down because I decided to install the manifold and not the turbo. I should have just done the turbo and the manifold and then installed it because there is enough room to get over here. I just didn't realize it yet, and I already put the dump tubes on, so I don't really feel like. Uh, 
taking it all apart, but theoretically, I probably can looking at it now. I probably have enough room to do it all. And it would probably be easier doing it that way. I wanted to run these lines first. Um, I might just take those out just to get it all situated. Um, I should have enough room to remove the dump tubes. One runs down here and the other dump tube runs down there. But actually it might be hard because of this wastegate. It's up against this panel right here. So I don't think there's enough room for it to actually move much. So I might just have to do what I'm work with what I got and go from there. So I'll keep you guys updated. Let's do the first startup, check if there's any leaks, nothing crazy. Um, see how it sounds. It's probably gonna be some leak or something, but we'll find out. But here we go, it's installed. Just gotta clean everything off the car. Now do like a quick like stab, like ping. Do it again. Again. Alright, so now that we got this installed, all right. Um, right now, I am about to do the holes for the wastegates. As with this kit, one actually exits right here up in the front, and then one exits up in the back. So, uh, yeah, one's right there, and the other one is right down there. And then I gotta install the boost controller, which is a uh, Innovate kit, which is going to completely control the boost system on here. Um, boost system is not going to be controlled by the computer anymore. Uh, port injection, meth, maybe not meth, but port injection and nitrous will be installed. Just not sure if I'm going to get it to today in this video, but all right. So the holes are made. I'll get under here so I can show you guys. Boom, boom, boom. There goes one dump tube. I was kind of a little bit off, but you know, it's all good. It's right there, it's nice, pretty. Um, that one actually was spot on though, back there. So, this is the install so far. I already started up, as you guys can tell. Um, no tuning changes yet. Literally just installed, turned it on. Um, probably gonna have to adjust some things. Uh, currently, until I get a catch can, there's this hose. That's pretty much just not going anywhere. And there's one more, just this one, that's not going anywhere either. So, until there's a catch can made to somewhat put, obviously it's going to be kind of hard to uh, put something, you know, to feed those into here. Well, at least on this intake inlet, due to there's not enough room. So, I do have this k and filter right here for this crankcase breather. Um, like I said, I have the boost controller. I gotta put over here, set this all up, uh, run the gauge inside. It's literally, uh, not this, but this kit does come with a wide band, but I don't need it. Um, it's literally, has this for the map sensor which I'll have to plug into there. And then it has the gauge. It's the Innovate controller, boost controller. So literally I can control the wastegate and everything just based off of this. Um, 
So like I said, the computer is not going to be controlling the boost anymore. That's going to be con the controller is going to be controlling the boost, and I just have to make sure that the software takes it, doesn't do any throttle closures, and that everything else is good. Um, does have a blow off valve. Um, either run a vacuum pump or just run it off the boost T right here. That's how I have it for at least right now. Um, I have this teed off going to the controller. I do have to make another T for the boost source um, for that gauge. That way it can tell what the pressure is. But other than that, guys, it runs. It's good. Just got to tune it. Um, wait for a catch can because obviously this is not the proper way um, to do this. Just to leave these two hoses dangling. It's just not the right way. So I prefer to do it the right way. Um, I'm still debating. I'm still debating on doing meth or just doing port injection. I kind of just want to install the nitrous kit and the meth kit, but I might just wait on the meth kit and just do um, the nitrous and just probably a port injection kit. Just have to see what I end up doing. I'm kind of like in the middle of, you know, thinking about doing the port injection, but I might also just do the meth kit so who knows but that's the end of this video um, just wanted to show you guys the install for the turbo um, if anybody wants a stock turbo just let me know but other than that see you guys later if you like the video hit the like button if you're new to the channel please subscribe and I'll see you guys later